Hey everybody. So if you use SketchUp to do any woodworking design, um, you're going to be kind of appalled with the selection of wood grain patterns or textures that are available in SketchUp. If we go here to our materials window, um, we've got about 10 textures to choose from. We've got a couple different wood floor textures, uh, bamboo, cork, uh, cherry is the one that I thought was not that bad, uh, OSB, and a plywood texture that's definitely not finished grade plywood. So if you want to add a couple of different uh, wood species textures to SketchUp, it's actually pretty easy because somebody out there was nice enough to create a collection for us. So what we want to do is go out to the internet on your favorite web browser, and this is the page we want to get to. And of course that URL is really long, so I have shortened it using tinyurl. If you go to tinyurl.com slash pvmz4oa, that'll get us here. And as you can see, there are a ton of different wood species available through this. So we're going to go ahead and click download and select SketchUp 8 model. When that file finishes downloading, we're going to go ahead and open that up. And it'll open straight through SketchUp and it brings up, well, exactly what we just saw in the web browser. If you get this message, it just means that you're running a newer version of SketchUp than what the model was created on, and that's fine. Just click OK. And what we're going to do to add all of these to SketchUp so they're available in our own drawings is we're going to open up the Materials window, and there's two ways to do that. You can either click the Paint Bucket, and that'll open it up, or you can click the Window Materials option, and that'll open it up too. And once we're in there, we're going to go to this dropdown where we select our uh, collection of materials. And we're going to select one at the very top that says in model. And that shows all the materials in the model that we currently have open. Now what we want to do is create a new collection based on this. So we're going to click the details button that's over here to the right and do save collection as. And we need to save the collection somewhere. And what we're going to do is select, uh, I, I like to keep them in my documents. I'm going to select my documents. And then I'm going to create a new folder and call it Wood Species Textures. And then I'm going to select that folder and click OK. And you can see whatever I named that folder is what it comes up as in Google SketchUp. So. Now these are going to be available in any of our drawings. So if I go out here and I create a new drawing, there's our default Stan Lee looking fella. And I'll draw us a nice big square and select my textures. And lo and behold, there they are under wood species textures. I'll choose zebra wood. There we go. Purple heart. That's pretty fancy. Mahogany. Liptus, all kinds of stuff. And as you can see, the further we're, uh, we're zoomed in, the more detailed that texture looks. Um, so anyway, that'll give you about, uh, I'd say, 30 new textures to play with. Um, I know there's some other ones floating around the internet, and you will add them in much the same way as you added these. Okay, well, if you have any problems, feel free to leave me a comment, and I'll try to help you out. All right, I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.